because otherwise you're looking at the gross profit, aka margin that you had planned on with the estimate and then you're looking at your financial statement and you're like, why Why do we have a 65% gross margin or gross profit or margin on the P&L and the jobs are saying they're supposed to be at 34%. Hey, thanks for asking. A client told me they were at a meeting and the facilitator said, why in the world do we allocate indirect expenses to COGS? That seems dumb. Why would you do it? So I'm here to answer the question of why we do it. First of all, everyone should be using a fully burdened labor cost if they have employees working for clients. If employees are doing the work for clients, whether you're a bookkeeping firm, an architect, or a carpenter, then you need to be thinking about the fully burdened cost of that employee. And the fully burdened cost of the employee should include the cost of uniforms and general liability insurance that tracks along with income and workers' comp insurance and uniforms and whatever tools and supplies these people need to do their work. Okay, so that's a fully burdened cost of an employee. If you're using that fully burdened cost in your cost calculations for an estimate, when you're trying to estimate how much the project will cost the client, then you really need the fully burdened cost of payroll to be on your financial statement, on your profit and loss. Because otherwise, you're looking at the gross profit, aka margin, that you had planned on with the estimate, and then you're looking at your financial statement and you're like, why, why do we have a 65% gross margin or gross profit or margin on the P&L and the jobs are saying they're supposed to be at 34%. Why, why is this showing so much more profit, right? It's a mismatch, it doesn't make sense. So that's the number one reason of why to be doing this indirect allocation is so that your P&L syncs up with your job reports. And so you can see, oh yeah, this makes sense. The jobs have been running on average 33% because we have slippage. And the financial statement shows 33% because we have slippage. So that's the first reason, because that labor burden should match up everywhere. Otherwise things turn into nonsense and nobody can make sense of it. But the other reason why it is so important for us to put all of the job related costs, if they can't be assigned to particular customer input and COGS, that we're putting all those job costs into the indirect expense group. So it's very obvious, this is a labor burden. These are the indirect expenses associated with those production people because of this. Most business owners get the bad business advice that they said should cinch down their overhead and make it as cheaply as possible, right? As cheap as possible, the overhead. Smallest percent of income possible. Can you run your business with no overhead at all kind of idea? And the problem is, is when business owners are like, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> If the business owners are cinching down overhead as much as they possibly can and all of the indirect expenses are mixed in, they're going to inadvertently be saying we have to cinch down our indirect expenses, lopping off the functionality of your field staff because you're saying, no, you don't get tools. No, you don't get vehicle repairs. No, you don't get this or this or that, right? We need to be building up our production team, giving them any and all resources they need to be efficient and effective. And if we put all those expenses in overhead, some business consultant somewhere is gonna tell you your overhead's too high and you need to start cutting costs and you're gonna do it at the detriment of your company to the detriment of your clients and you're certainly gonna set yourself up for really, really bad financial statements because you're not gonna to wanna to pay very much for bookkeeping services. The cost of bookkeeping services and accounting in general will be a different video in this series. So thanks for asking why indirect expenses should be in COGS, and here's two of the reasons.